Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share with you how we literally have a testimony. You know, in a lot of churches and a lot of in a, a lot of people's walks, there is a lack of power. And some of the reasons for that is because people are bent. They are they are so attached to sin, they don't want to let it go. They want to cohabit with sin, with a sinful lifestyle. We all fall short. But there are some that are really happy in the short area. And there are those who are diligently seeking God in every way. And I'm asking you to listen to this beautiful testimony. Now this is something that involves one of God's natural creatures. But it is still the gift of healing nonetheless. And I want you to hear Rashad's testimony. I'm going to shut up and let him take it from there. Thank you, Rashad. Go for it. All right. Well, I was um, at work at the time, mm -hmm. and I was heading to my next stop, and I noticed a dog was in the middle of the street. He, I can tell, you know, as I, I couldn't tell what, what it was when I first was driving, but as I got closer and closer, I realized it was a dog, and it was kind of like, you know, in a position, and I'm like, wow, let me get this dog out of the middle of the street before somebody runs him over. I hear you. Yeah. And so I got out my truck, and I um, put some gloves on, mm -hmm. and I got close to the dog. I kind of was like hesitant because I couldn't tell if it was a dog that attacked or whatever. Right. I was like, if this dog is hurting, I mean, I might as well just, you know, just get him. But I picked him up, set him to the side of the road, Oh, on, on the, where the grass is at, and um, <clears throat> I just got a call of, let me just pray for the dog, let me see what will happen, you know, and I put my hand on the dog, I was kind of rubbing him, kind of, you know, trying to make him feel better, and I started praying, I was like, in the name of Jesus, I, I command you to, you know, get up, and I, I pray the spirit of death off to you in Jesus' name, and I, you know, I was just asking the Lord to heal this dog right now. And I also was asking him when he's healed that somebody comes by and takes him and love him and take care of him and, you know, like he has a, you know, find him a good home. And after I did that, I went to, you know, I took my, I got done praying. I, the dog just stood up. He just got up. Just got up like he had never been knocked down. He up started walking around like that. Regained his um strength. Right. Yep, got up, then kind of walked around, kind of sat down a little bit, then got back up and kept walk, like kept walking around in like circles, trying to get up. And before the dog was like not moving, he was like got got you know getting his last couple breaths. He was like like kind of just not not even really breathing. But so for him to get up, no, no way. The dog was like literally dying. Wow. You know, we were talking about it over the phone, and I told Rashad I wanted him to share his testimony. Now, the thing that got me was I was saying, so I guess the dog was like, you know, breathing real fast. He said, no, he wasn't breathing like that. He was barely getting any wind in and barely getting it out. So he said he looked like he was dying. That's his last breath. Yeah. yeah. Now, we can rebuke death, you know, you guys. We can rebuke death. We, the God gave us the authority through the name of Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit. And wow. God can work miracles. If he will do it for an animal, how much more will he do it for you? Some of you are visiting uh, relatives in the hospital right now has it ever occurred to you to just try what Rashad tried rebuking the spirit of infirmity rebuking death asking God to strengthen and raise him up him or her we need to do this more often y'all 
We really do. Because the power was given to us. We need to flip the switch and stop groping in the dark. Stop doing without. And as, as a, an old uh, pastor used to tell me, stop living beneath our privilege. Wow. Thank you so much, Rashad, for sharing that. Wow. That is so rich. Wow. And it's, it's stretching my faith, you know, to believe and trust more. You know? That's, That's right. All, all things are possible. Exactly. Exactly. We'll be back, you guys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>